Today's recipe is a twist on a popular street food, papri chaat, which is a kind of explosion on so many flavors, sweet, salty, tangy, and crispy all in one. Hey you magical people, welcome to Salted Sugar Saga and in this recipe we are recreating all those flavors in our own style. Hope you guys like it. So firstly I'm gonna prepare our chutney and as I prepared my sweet chutney a day before and it was already in my refrigerator. Now I'm gonna prepare my mint chutney and for that we need cilantro which we call as coriander leaves or dhania. I've washed them and chopped them roughly. Now I'm gonna add mint leaves which I've already washed. To make this chutney is really easy, you just need to put all the ingredients in a grinder and make a smooth paste, that's it. Trust me, it's really easy. Now I'm gonna add ginger which is gonna give you a kind of, uh, you know, little heat in the chutney. Now for the sourness, I'm adding raw mango. Now nylon save. This nylon save will help you to give a very nice smooth texture uh, instead of a watery runny texture of a chutney. Now because I was out of my green chilies, so I'm adding some jalapeno peppers. If you have green chilies, use them. Now we'll season it with cumin powder, black salt and some white regular salt. Guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe my channel, hit the bell icon so that you'll be notified for all the updates. You can follow me on Instagram or Twitter as well. And I have a Facebook page also, you, if you want, you can follow me there as well. Now we will make a smooth chutney, we'll grind it, here we go. Yes, now I have the chutney. I'll transfer it in a bowl and keep it aside. Now because that's, we want a sourness in that, so to uh, add a little more sourness, I'm adding around a tablespoon of lemon juice. You can check if you feel like it's okay, you can just skip it as well. Now we're gonna prepare our yogurt. And for that I need yogurt of course make it lump free and smooth to adjust the consistency of this yogurt because I want a bit thinner so I've added uh, milk in that and to give it a little sweeter Taste. I'm gonna add sugar. I have used one tablespoon. You can, if you want a little more, more on a sweeter side, you can have, um, you know, um, half a tablespoon more. I guess that would be more than enough for even the sweet tooth people. So here is the yogurt ready. Now we're gonna prepare a batter for a kale. So kale is really healthy, leafy thing. So for that we need gram flour or basin and rice flour. We need to prepare a thin batter. It should not be runny but it should not be like thin, uh, that thick as we make for pakoras or other fritters. So I've added turmeric, salt. We'll give it a good whisk. I'll mix everything well and now I'm gonna add water to make it a perfect batter. So I've used around 3 4 cup to 1 cup of water depending on how like what quality of gram flour you have. Now you can see I have these kale leaves which I have washed and roughly chopped. I'm just going to break them roughly and put them in my batter. We're going to do all at once. So let me put all the leaves. So we're going to coat our leaves with a very thin layer of batter because we don't want a batter taste, completely batter taste in our chart. We want kale 
that crispy flavor of kale as well in our chaat which is going to give a lot more better flavor than other chaats trust me so now it's all ready we're going to fry them on high heat so it will take around 2 uh, minutes see the kale is still peeping out of the batter so we need that kind of thin coating of batter seems good to go now we'll take everything out on a paper towel so that extra oil can be drained out so kale is ready now my favorite part assemble yeah now we're going to assemble the chaat now i have my fried kale leaves which i'm going to place in a plate they are so crispy already so delicious if you want you can just serve as it is for your guest but because we are making chaat so we need all the ingredients of chaat now i'm going to put pour my yogurt sweet yogurt which we have prepared that is actually enough now we're going to put our green mint chutney depending on your flavor you can add more or add less now time to put our sweet chutney i have prepared this chutney of jaggery whatever sweet chutney you know to prepare you can just prepare that chutney now we'll season it with cumin powder and black salt and we'll top it up with nylon sail and some pomegranate seeds so guys until next time enjoy your pom this kale chaat and keep watching salt and sugar saga take care bye bye